watching me like a nigga is cable. I be on no label, but my clothes be all. The people crying for Hosanna son. Ooh. So loud you can't understand them. See they so they so for my propaganda. Good for the goose, good for the motherfucking gun. Oh god damn it. They say I'm too much to handle. Far from basic. Rolling tongue that speak a different language. Fuck your bitch, I got a leg up trying to get the angle uh, on the table. Uh, Counting paper. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of a No Label Convo. Here are my boy now. Yo. Shouts out to everybody that's subscribing on YouTube, liking on Instagram, commenting on YouTube, comment on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter, I don't yes. label the pod. Instagram, yes, I don't label the pod. Now go ahead and get into the sponsor. Hell yeah. Shout out to our sponsor. Shout out to Guapcoin. Guap Cryptocurrency for the Guap culture. Coin. You know what I'm saying? Get to it. Get to it. Uh man, we got a guest in here, man. I remember when <laughs> we we I, we brandy to each other for so long, and I remember when I first heard one of his tracks, I was like, "Oh, he's out of here." No, I'm right. like, "Yo, we this, I was here. like, "Yo, we really got some shit brewing in the city," and like this man made me happy, like proud to be from Buffalo and be a part of this scene. That's real talk. You know nice. saying? With my boy. I appreciate, Hosanna. Good, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Nice to you feel me be chopping it up with you, you feel me? Yeah. When I put the connection, you was big big boy little brother. That shit was fire. I'm like, man, it's a small town. <laughs> you know, it's Gino, a small town. Word, I mean, Gino, that Gino, boy. Nah. <laughs> nah, word. You little big bro now, you feel me? Body slam his ass now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk. Hell oh, yeah. Real man. easy. How you been, bro? I've been decent, bro, but I had the worst year of my life last year. But besides that, I mean, everything perfect. Man, you made it here, man. Yeah, man, we Gucci. I got that shit on my fucking arms like this now. <laughs> Nigga, fuck 21. I'm squeezing that shit in my, my fucking biceps. That shit dirt. What, what good. made it what made it tough? Uh I had a baby. I didn't catch I didn't catch the Pan Boys 10K. It just was a lot of weird <laughs> shit. Like I ain't get my fucking I didn't get my fucking steez off. I really haven't even been to the uh Buffalo Kids store. I miss Matt and his shit. Mm. My bro True opening. I just missed everything kind of in a way. Mm. But not because I didn't want to be there. God kind of had me in the cup. Yeah. You know, I was taking care of my business. Word. Ain't no point of popping out if you ain't got your shit together. You that's, can't be a help to nobody. So I rather just nah, yeah, I feel right. take my time and you feel me? Hell yeah, have that's home right. base straight. You know what I mean? You feel way better when you out. Hell yeah, I can give good energy out. I ain't over here thinking about this or stressing about this. Ah, ah, you know? The facts. You don't right. think that maybe like being out there though would have helped you like maybe get over whatever you was going through sooner? Yeah, like, to, to an extent. Good energy? To an extent, you definitely got to walk through the water for that shit to split. But I'm just saying, maintenance is important. I, I wasn't about to lose everything, you know what I'm saying, to try to like for the possibility of tomorrow. I'm like, let me Word. maintain my situation and then God can continue to add to what I got. You Word. know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. if I would've just, I could've lost my my connection with my children and everything. And that's more important than a moment to me. You know mm. what I'm saying? We gotta leave a legacy and the legacy is take care of your family, bro. You feel me? Fair. So that's, that's what was my main focus last year. Let me make sure we good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah can't priceless things, absolutely. Things yeah. you can never get back, so can't put a tag on it. Feel me, bro? So after after all of that shit is situated, man, here I am. You feel me? I had to make sure I hit you back and double back on all of this. You feel Hell me? Yeah. This is much, the main. Yeah. It's the main focus. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we appreciate it, bro. Yeah, we appreciate it. So we are gonna start from the start from the get go. What you you was out in? Uh, were you always like out in Sweet Home? No, I moved there? to Sweet Home when I was in high school. I okay. grew up. You feel me? Uptown on Bailey off. Shirley, you feel me? Okay. Around my, you feel me, regular shit. And then I moved to Stockbridge, and then I moved to Sweet Home for high school. On some random shit, my mom's house got foreclosed, so it was like mm -hmm. we had to move. We didn't just move because we was looking for, you feel me? Yeah. yeah. We was good. We had a six-bedroom house. It was lit. <laughs> Upstairs, downstairs, little back patio. But um, that shit got foreclosed, so we ended up moving to Sweet Home. And I met some of my best friends in Sweet Home, you feel me? Word. Hell yeah. Real talk. Looney Acres, which is random. I could have been in any part of Sweet Home, like, where it just was nobody, but I got dropped in in like this little center block of, of a, yeah, it's like a yeah. little block of area space where it's all black people, which is surprising. I cried. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking I'm not going to see no more niggas. It's nothing but niggas. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. like how is this possible, bro? <laughs> and they all, and they all like, I don't know, just official. It was just good yeah. vibes. It wasn't no fucking 
suburban vibes at all. Facts, cause I, I used to probably like I used to go out to Sweet Home. I, I used to kick it with uh, Dakari. Yeah, that's my son. Yeah, that yeah. nigga. He one of the diplomatic politician type niggas, but you feel me? <laughs> Shout out, and he had the big ass he, house of him. He the neighborhood go hero now. <laughs> yeah, okay, right. he in the town, but yeah, he was like, you feel me? Kari had it going on. You feel facts, me? Facts, facts. It's mad different, like like walks of life. I got the taste. You feel me? As opposed to in the town, I really was. I'm not saying I was close minded, but I didn't see. Like motherfucking Naruto motherfuckers and all of that shit. Yeah. So I got the sweet home. I'm like, okay, this shit. It's different, it's different yeah. elements. And I could learn from everybody as opposed to just kind of get you the hood vibe. Cause the hood vibe, I was probably gonna just be BSP, LBC, just do the shit that everybody else was doing. Facts. You know, get you a gun, make sure you scrape when you go outside, try to get some weed and sell it. But it's like, man, nah, I I could see more. Nah, yeah, it's more like. Yeah, I can see. That's I started wrestling and shit, doing other things. Mm. And then I end up linking back up with a nigga that I grew up with named Bucks. You feel me? I won't say his whole name, but he came. It was at Ralph. I remember Ralph to the town. Yeah. So it was like I was seeing a lot of niggas from Bailey. And he like this, bro. Look me in my eye, bro, with his soul. Like, bro, I wish I could be doing what you're doing. And that shit is why I take this shit so serious because that privilege or however God pushed it, everybody didn't get them cars. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's so a lot a of niggas fun. I grew up with, they did five, they did 10, they did 15. Not because they bad people, because you're going to- Circumstances. Yeah, your circumstances, you got to stand on your 10 toes. You ain't about to fold to this shit, so. Hell yeah. I heard you used to be whooping them white boys' ass on the-, on the Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was disrespectful as hell. My first year, though, I was owing, like, I was I lost all my matches. Then the second year, I was like 16-16, but the playoffs came, and I just fucking, I beat the first seed. He had one stakes last year. I beat him four to three. Come on. And I just, like, after that, it was over. Nigga. So I what made you want to start wrestling? I didn't. Some the coach came to me because I got cut from basketball, bro, which is un like that's almost unethical for a nigga, right? Yeah. <laughs> I got cut. Sweet bro. home was nice. Sweet home was nice. Sweet home nice, bro. And I'm doodle with sales, so they cut me from freshman football. I mean freshman basketball. And then it was like the wrestling coach called me to the office. So I'm like, oh, I'm like this. And then yeah. you feel me? Yeah. So I went to the office. I'm talking to him. He said, I want you to wrestle. I'm like, I don't even know nothing about the sport. Uh, I'm like, bet. And then the nigga like, you gonna be on varsity. When he said varsity, I'm like, oh. Out the gate. Yeah, I'm a freshman, so I'm like, yeah, anything varsity, I'm gonna do it. But then that shit was a rude awakening. Them niggas was whooping my ass. So did you watch wrestling growing up? Nah, that shit is disrespectful, because I love wrestling. But that wrestling- it's very you, Did wrestling. you think it was gonna be like that? Or it was like- Oh, no, nah, I had seen somebody put a singlet on and I was laughing at them niggas. Y'all like, looking crazy as hell. You know what I'm saying? No, facts, bro. But then once I got into the culture of the shit, my first year, I didn't have to do nothing. My second year, I got into the culture. Mm -hmm. And that culture is special, bro. Like, wrestling culture is ill. And it's like, niggas like WWE, SmackDown, but it's disrespectful to the fucking, that sport. That sport mm -hmm. is the first original sport. Like, if you was to weigh the heart of any athlete, a wrestler got the heaviest heart, bro. Just because, nigga, that, that, that sport is constant motion and there's nobody to throw the ball to. It's nobody yeah, it's to you pass. And him. It's you and him, bro. And if you don't, you feel me? If you don't overcome yourself, he gonna overcome your ass, nigga. You feel me? So that's how that shit be. Where? It's just wrestling, you know what I mean? <laughs> Urge. That shit was wonderful. And it's like I'm. I done read the whole Word of God, the Bible. You feel me? It's a he, it's a Hebrew book. So you know what I'm saying? I had to when I learned about myself, I found out that that was a part of our history. Mm -hmm. So I indulged in it, and I found out that our forefather Yakub, he mm -hmm. was a wrestler. Like his name was Yakub Jacob. Mm -hmm. And then when he wrestled the angel, and was able to beat an angel. He beat the angel in the wrestling match. And um, yeah. the angel whispered in his ear to specifically, he said, you have wrestled against God and against men. And you've proven that you're stronger than both. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna change your name from Jacob to Israel. That's where you hear the word Israel. They didn't rent off what our sauce like they always do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's where the word Israel come from. It's our forefather. Fact. It was a blessing to our family. So, yeah, like, yeah, they argued on Mount Pineal, man. I, you feel me, bro? Yeah, Pops used to put me on to the, to the word. Hell yeah. Yeah. Because we all know. That's a we fact. Just different pieces of the body, man. Exactly. We it's all it's all a puzzle piece. We got we we pulling it back together though. Hell it's, yeah, little by little, man. Yeah, man. So when did that spiritual influence like do that play heavy in your music and all That's, that, or did it, did it make you get into music? It didn't make me get into music, but um, I got into it because of music. Mm. I heard Jay Z say, "Arm, leg, leg, arm, head. This is God's body," yeah. right? Mm -hmm. He just spelled out Allah, A-L-L-A-H, and I realized that my understanding was far, far away from where I needed to be to be really able to have dominion over this shit. Mm -hmm. Not to just be in it. I didn't want, I didn't, when I started rapping from the moment I picked up that shit, it was never to play. It was dead eye serious. I remember picturing myself in a Breakfast Club inter interview and I got like fucking crazy anxiety in a moment. Now this is mm -hmm. almost seven years ago because it's real, it's gonna really happen. So. I was really feeling those emotions and I realized like, oh, I'm not prepared for what I'm trying to do. 
Mm. I was like, my body was like, oh, my body can't even take what I'm trying to do. So I just started learning, learning how to breathe. <laughs> you feel me? Mm -hmm. Learning how to see things for what it is, learning how to not be closed minded and accept the world for what it is. Cause you will come from a closed minded house or something. Everybody come from closed minded houses. You feel me? Everybody, you feel me? Your mom might say that them people devils, your mom might say that them people devils, but you gotta see for yourself. You who gotta learn your own not. understanding. Learn you know yourself. what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a fact. That's your first school room, your mother's heart, man. That's where you learn everything from, you know? Word. Hell yeah. But then I got into that shit deeply, like, and I thought we was Egyptian. My face tattoo is an Egyptian heart mm -hmm. because, you know, I'm like, man, if I was anything, I was the king of Egypt. Mm -hmm. I never felt like I was less than something. So I'm always going to strive for what's the greatest things that niggas have ever done. And then I got deep, deep, deep into that, bro. Because when you pull back layers, you, it's almost, it's scary. The truth is scary, you know? Yeah. People stay away from it. Because we, we, we so pull, we yeah. so broken off from it yeah and people like, people touch two layers of it and then they're like all right i'm done because mm -hmm. if you keep going deeper to get it will get like that like whoa mm -hmm. this shit out, dark you feel me when but you it's out, you realize, Damn, that was kind of obvious yeah mm -hmm. we was shit. overlooking the fuck out of it like, and yeah. it's like right in our face. you know what i'm saying yeah. so did that how you like looking at the world different and like yeah. moving different in terms of how you interact with people bro it's crazy how the fuck i i'm in church my whole life and y'all niggas didn't tell me this once. How y'all read the same 15 stories out of a fucking 5,000 page book and then put it together that y'all wrote it? Mm -hmm. Like, what are y'all giving me? Nothing. I asked my little cousin, what's the color of Adam? He gonna tell me white. And he and he go to fucking what they call these religious factions every day. I'm far from a Christian, but I know the truth. You feel me? Yeah. It's not about religion. So like, that's how I got into that shit, bro. And it just, you feel yeah. me? It start right here with Egyptian culture. Mm -hmm. And then as I kept going deeper, this is specific fact, changed my life. It says, you know, in Egypt, they were mummified, you feel me? So if you was an Egyptian or a nobleman or something, they mummified you. Mm -hmm. Us, the Hebrew slaves, those who built the country, same way we did built America, things don't change. There's nothing under the sun. So you have to really wake up and see. We built that whole Egypt, bro. You yeah, feel me? For sure. And then they used to bury us in mud piles of 2,000. We get thrown in mud piles of 2,000 as opposed to them being mummified. They said that the craniological evidence of those Hebrew slaves that were buried in mud piles uh, are the same as black Americans today. And it said this, it says they are in the same economic, spiritual, and physical position that they were in in ancient Egypt. It said, in fact, now look, that's not just a book, but I read it and that's the first, bro. I never, ever, ever in my life have seen something. I've never seen my life in another lifetime until I read that sentence, bro. I see my feet in Egypt. I watched, mm -hmm. I, I was watching, bro, that was the most heartbreaking moment in my life because I just tatted this, bro. Word. I thought we was, this is equivalent to having an American ego on my face. Mm -hmm. Feel me? For real, Egypt, they, Egypt just means bondage. That's what the word translates to in Greek. People don't be knowing. So that's, I'm that's going- That's what the Greeks called it, you know You feel me? So we- I'm, Young Kim. Come on, yeah, bro. That's why they always say that they had, the aliens did it. Right, yeah. right, but we the aliens, bro, you yeah, feel facts. me? So nigga, we going through all of that shit and I just realized that and I'm like, wow, my heart broke. And I'm like this, I literally stepped away from the phone. I'm like this. And then I heard the voice of God and he been with me ever since. The nigga said, who was the slaves in Egypt, Quan? Who was the slaves in Egypt? Quan, wake up. I said, oh, the children of Israel. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, we the children of Israel? And nigga, that shit, bro, I can't look at a nigga and not get excited. No homo or a female or somebody of my bloodline because it's such yeah. a beautiful story. Y'all niggas don't know how the glory that we gonna see once we pass and transcend this life. Shit that, is all for us. God is only for us. And you know what I'm saying? About it, what's the Kendrick? Kendrick won a Pulitzer off that. People See? they listen to damn and like he start that shit up like yo weird the true is like weird the true and that's mm -hmm. beautiful right. and I found out fourteen so that album came out it's all it's awakening you feel me so it happens mm -hmm. at once like water flow through flow through so the who system. Intro, who introduced you to nobody. like that first piece nobody I was studying I had free time on my hands and I was watching my daughter and my my bitch was at work so I my female while she was working I was just trying to learn some shit. I'm reading shit because I'm trying to get my bar stronger. I'm trying to get this, this. I want to have dominion. I want to feel how I need to feel. You feel yeah. me? You know what I'm saying? Us every day telling us. Yeah. And this is a point in time he didn't think history went past 20 years. You feel me? But for real, we started learning. We started learning, like to deeply learn this shit. And then I went into the world and I had to test it. And that's when I seen the truth for real. Like he called himself True EV, but I feel like this is my John the Baptist. You feel me? In a way, like this nigga was able to introduce me to the world and the good hearts of people as opposed to looking at it from oh they don't they don't pray they don't they don't keep the sabbath oh they not they not of god you know what i'm saying and then they ain't who they say when you is. when you digest the whole truth you realize that the man that they call jesus christ his name is yahweh he didn't spend no time with people that were in the church they came to him trying to cuss him out the pharisees like it's saturday you supposed to be fasting you drinking with the sinners the niggas 
disrespectful. Like, yo, y'all know the law. Get out of my face. I'm here to spend time with people who've never heard this shit. Mm-hmm. Y'all know the law. Get out of my face. You feel me? Word. And these niggas all tweaking. They all they spend all day long when to cast demons all of this cool shit. I want to call everybody a demon, all this wild shit. Wanna push judgment. And I know for a fact, this is what he said. He said, I know you not. I never knew you. That's what he gonna tell these people that didn't love their neighbor, bro. Mm. That's all it's about loving your neighbor, bro. That's the conclusion of the whole word of God. I read the whole thing. Love your neighbor as your own flesh. Yeah. Like that's others, hard to do. Do as others you know? as you would want done unto you. Yeah, real talk. That I can't I can't even way. take I can't take no. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, what's the Queen City? I can't take no blood out of your eye if I feel like you're looking at me evil. If I got evil in my eye, I have to deal with myself first. Mm-hmm. That's what the whole word is about, you feel me? And then the history part of it is beautiful because we wrote it. But just like M- Melanie Trump, when she completed, completely copied the speech that Michelle Obama did, I don't see, we, they do it constantly in our face. They can't create nothing. Bro, they, they, do create, con- they can't create nothing. Love new. can only create things. Everything else is, Im- is imitation. That's why you get an iPad and you get 15 tablets. Mm-hmm. Because everybody has to, like, feel me, follow love, bro. Yeah. Love creates things and then everything follows after. That's how it's supposed to be. Where? How, you find, how you find your love for music? What, what, what sparked it? My love for music came when I made my first song and I realized I can do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That was in high school or post? Post high school. I didn't make no music. I, free- like, I, I don't like to do that corny shit. But I freestyled my whole life. Mm. They used to call me Hustle and Flow. That shit, like, for I, free, I, I was freestyling in sixth grade, bro. Like, dead ass, bro. I've been freestyling, but I don't. I don't. But you didn't uh, see yourself like. Yeah, being an I artist. wasn't had no thought of like being an artist yeah. or anything or an entertainer because I thought you had to be selective for that. I really come from like a closed minded type of mind. Mm. I thought you had to be selective for that. I thought everything was like systematic. I didn't know you could just manifest. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't know you could just manifest, bro. Use that shit thoughts, is yeah. Ill. Yeah, bro. And then I learned, and now I know how fast it works. I have one moment of doubt. It might not manifest right now, but it will in three hours. Mm-hmm. And I might slip or something in the car. So it's like always try to keep your mind from thinking anything negative because negative thoughts will manifest even if it's just for a moment. Mm-hmm. So try to keep them shit. As soon as you feel that shit, whoop, that ain't me, whoop, whoop. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You Straight to it. Yeah. You feel me? We trying to bring heaven down here, bro. That's all that other shit. Yeah, it's here today, going tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he spoke on it. But when when True walked in, it's like when you're speaking to somebody and you aligned your thoughts with it, it aligned with your reality. This That's nigga, how you know you on. He point, showed man. me manifestation through dice, bro. It's mm-hmm. mad ways to teach somebody this shit, bro. That's a fact. This nigga just kept four, five, six, and taking all these niggas' money. I'm like, yo, bro. He looked at me high and said, I don't know what he was on. He said, yo, bro. Nigga, just nigga, it's it's a yes, nigga. It's four, five, six. Eight, <laughs> <laughs> I said, you gotta just know that That's shit. Really man. It's nothing but four, five, six. <laughs> He said they would trip to this two ah, ah, ah. but nigga, that that that's the truth. You feel me? That's, that's why I love my bros, man. Cause I can complete a book, but nigga, I need to see it in real time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm life, saying? Yeah, life real is talk, a book. Bro. You know what I'm saying? We walk it, like you said. Nobody introduced it to you. It's it was in your DNA. Yeah, yeah hell yeah. Right, that's a fact. That's we a fact. In, we in a new covenant at this point. We definitely writing a oh, new yeah. chapter. Oh yeah, it's it's beautiful outside. As crazy as it is, hell it's yeah. real beautiful. It's beautiful, bro. It's a new page. Like I, I never thought we would be in this situation. Like where things is going up, yeah, crazy. Bro. Like mm-hmm. yeah. it's man. Yeah, yeah, man. The good yeah. heart's gonna win. That's all I feel like at yeah, this we, point, man. We paved I, the way. You know what I'm saying? That's real talk. Now, now I'm how far am I on this journey? I would say about five to six years rapping now, right, mm. bro. This shit is crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? I only did this shit, I swear to God, because I seen the void. Like, all right, let me fill this void. Not that, not that motherfuckers wasn't nice, mm-hmm. but it's a belief, bro, that I that I got from God directly that I don't think that I seen around me. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yo, I'm gonna step in this shit. Not step in this shit and be like, okay, I have to respect him because that's schoolboy Q. Fuck schoolboy Q, bro. Yeah, like mm-hmm. Schoolboy Q gonna he gonna recognize me as a person and then I can talk to him as a human being. Right. Well, I'm about to sit here and keep like folding my hands for y'all to keep eating in my face. Like, no, nigga, I come from the same tribe y'all come from, bro. Fact. You feel me? I'm just as ill as Kanye West, bro. I really know that, bro. If I think some shit, he gonna do it, bro. Now that that's not like, that's not saying I'm old God or anything, but it's like, we really shouldn't have that connection to be able to yeah, check that much anyhow on Instagram. Yeah. But I'm telling you, I can see our power. That's why I keep going. I don't have to have a million dollars today. Fact. I know that nigga. We, Bro, we covered, we, yeah. we talented, Co-creators. bro, we gifted, bro, and we blessed, bro, beyond beyond anybody understanding. All it takes is just a, they say, I don't hate corny shit, bro, mm. but a little bit of faith, bro, I swear mm. to God, you might not see that shit work for three days. That's why you have to stay off the internet, because if you keep checking, you're going to get discouraged, bro. Put some favor to the world, bro. I guarantee you, bro, that shit's going to come true, back bro. to you in that, five to ten days, bro. That's super fun. You just can't look for it. And then when it comes, don't be mad because it didn't come how you want it. It might not be the time, the dime bitch you want. She might not come, but it's going to be this seven. And this bitch going to feed you. 
She gonna clothe you. She gonna get you high. She gonna make sure you always <laughs> high. You know what I'm saying? She gonna make sure you ain't out here slipping. And that's what you needed. You never like what you want. You might get it for a second, but then keep begging God for it. He'll give it to you. It's gonna destroy you. Anything mm -hmm. you a God too. So it's like keep asking him. I want the devil, bitch. I want the devil, bitch. All right, all right. He gonna back up like this. She gonna destroy your ass. You gonna be up this crying for him. He gonna be laughing at you. That's the relationship. He love you. And this mm -hmm. shit is good. Right. It's all good. It's always all good. If you remember that shit, you will start laughing at this shit too. It's always all good. So now you got the demon bitch. She cussing you out. He's laughing at you like, yo, bro, <laughs> stop worrying about that bitch. Go get some money. So you go get some money. You bust this move. Who texting you? The demon bitch. Like, damn, I thought I lost you. <laughs> like, no, he telling you stop worrying about that shit. You know, feel me? Just right. be a god and take care of your fucking your hundred mile meat radius, and everything mm -hmm. will be good, bro. That's fact. We gotta be principles in this shit, bro. I I don't wanna. Get rid of things that have haunted me. I want to eat it so that nobody else have to deal with it. I want it to be in my belly. Yeah, try to boost that. Yeah, I don't want it to always be like, oh, shit. Cause nigga, what? That's I keep. I was just talking to bro about this shit. Like, what's dominion? You know what I'm saying? That's my biggest thing I learned in like, really, like my studies is dominion. That's what we have. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That's why you sit like a king. That's why I feel your royalty. Cause you have dominion over yourself. That's right. And in the room. Now, if something comes in here and tries to compromise, like compromise that, do you leave? No, you don't leave. You stand on your square. You stand on your square. It's not about force. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So if a cigarette come a cigarette come in the room and try to take an addiction on you, do you throw all cigarettes or no? Mm -hmm. Do you do you ask the government to stop making them? No. You said keep making them shits. I'm gonna show I have dominion over them. They're gonna sit in this room with me and they're gonna relax. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's anything, bro. That's just that's what our that's what this shit is about to me, bro. Music is very easy. I can freestyle right now for 10 minutes for y'all boys. I swear to God, that shit is very easy. Believe you know that. what I'm saying? It's the it's the, the feeling behind it, bro. Yeah. So when we That's all we used to do for real. We got history. Thirty yeah. in a day is crazy. Yeah, we still go crazy. Yeah. We still go crazy. When uh when you when did, when you notice you had that you had that uh, that that gift. Um, when his mother his mother is a doctor, you feel me? So I'm listening to that. She's PhD. <laughs> she, we shot a video and she like, oh, he's did y'all. They about to be famous. When she said that shit, what we year, wasn't gonna year? ever drop. Why this like 2015. It? Okay. We wasn't gonna ever drop no video till we had some shit. You mm -hmm. feel me? We was gonna have some shit, bro. I swear. I, we knew. We know what we gotta do. We're not idiots. I heard yeah. I'm like, this what? Shit, this you feel me? Right you which, which, which song was it? It was oh. Dolly. You okay. feel me? And that shit was a. Uh, uh, I was writing like run on songs to my friend, like yo, just cut it off and just keep that melody. So I I take voices from everywhere. It ain't like I'm just some monster raw person. I'm always mm -hmm. gonna credit to my environment. Mm -hmm. But then his mom said that, and I heard the message, and that conf that was the last piece of confidence I needed. I'm like, okay, where this doctor lady who right, she do all this shit? She feel like we gonna make it. Let's drop. So we dropped that video, and I got attention from a lot of people that we we were uplifting for a long time, and that meant mm -hmm. a lot to me. Cause it's like, all right, y'all gonna y'all gonna uplift me now, <laughs> and I felt cool that Word. reciprocation. You Word. Know what I'm saying? It's just back and forth. That's how. You know what I'm saying? So I was I was thinking back to like around that time, 2015. Was was that uh, were you still in Buffalo? Yes, sir. I okay. lived on the west side on Parkville. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, where we had the anti venue. Yeah, anti -venue yep, yep, anti venue. You Hell moved yeah. there right after high school. No. Right after sweet home. When I left Sweet Home, I was out here since 17. I went to move on Fruin. Cause this nigga went to DC on my ass, which was good. Which was good because we got mad connections from that shit, mad rock right things. But um Yeah, I was on Fruin, bro. I was off Jenny on Fruin. 17, bro. And then after that, I went to Eller with my bro KD. KD got a little fruit. He got a smoothie shop. Yeah, them shit's just crazy. We've seen a lot of things, you feel me? I don't like to talk about that because nigga, I don't, we don't even gotta glorify that. We know Word. motherfuckers is feel me born in that shit. But um after Eller, I moved in Virginia Street. So it was Fruin, Eller, then Virginia Street, then I moved into Parkdale by twenty years old. Word. So how much how much did things start shifting for you once you dropped uh Hosanna? That that um I don't to this day. I'm just, I'm still catching the vibes of what I really did. I didn't know. I was just, I had just, I remember that shit. I had was, just realized what I, you feel me? I'm like, okay, this is who I'm gonna be. This is what it is. They calling for Hosanna. And it's like, even the name Hosanna, it originally, I get deep in it and I learn it, but at first it comes from, he wanna call himself over. Mm -hmm. I'm not under nobody. Like, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. and I feel like everybody should feel like that. We shouldn't just always fall in line. Y'all niggas yeah. is 50. Let me get out the way. Everybody wanna be Michael Jackson now. And I love y'all for that, but it's real, it's real talk. I just didn't used to go this long. So niggas, everybody want to do 25 years? You want to call yourself Hova? You want to be Yeezus? I'm mm -hmm. Hosanna, bitch. And it's not no disrespect, but like, y'all go, we here too. 
This Word. whole generation is here. We're not here to just watch y'all forever, nigga. Fuck what's wrong with y'all niggas? You feel me? That's fine. Watch I'm out. Trying, you know what I'm create saying? our legacy too. Yeah, now yeah. like, and I know that they teaching us, and I don't, I don't, I don't speak out of disrespect, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak the truth, bro. Like I know that Michael Jackson is what changed the culture to make people go more than ten years in their career. Mm. Everybody do twenty five now. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah man. Because I remember, I remember when Hosanna dropped. I was, I heard that shit, and I'm like. Yo, this is crazy. And yeah. Numbers started doing numbers at like half a mil on like Spotify and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, that shit, shit is, was running up. Yeah, that real shit fast. Crazy. Yeah. And DJ T Jizzle told me Future was listening to it, and that's when I started relaxing. I, was like, I'm like, I said that shit moving. I ain't gotta do nothing. We good. Yeah. It you was just me? on some like organic shit. How did you? It was organic. How did I get it in people's ear. I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to nobody, bro. My life be hard, bro, and it's hard to do it. But fasting and praying can do anything. I, I fasted for three months from weed, bro, and I took this whole city. It was three months. I haven't did another three month fast. I guarantee if I do another three month fast, I take the word. I, I promise you, bro. But I did a three month fast from weed, and I was working overnight. And by the by, the what? The fiftieth day, I met my. I call this nigga Saint John, bro. I swear to God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he like, look, everybody else be like this, superficial, cool ass niggas, bro. Came through, sat down like this, and my shit wasn't no chair for him. I'm like, okay, damn, I was waiting for you. <laughs> then he just was able to give me my completion. I was about 50% there. And then he just like, yo, let's run. You feel me? And when I met True, that's when I started to run. Because at that point, I was just internet. I dropped a video. I dropped a fear me. And they was just catching the vibes. Like, okay, it's a nigga that's about to uh, be on shit. Mm-hmm. But bro was fearless. He came and looked me in my eyes and said, let's do this shit. And that's when I'm like, yo, we off the porch. We was 15 deep in there. He came in there dolo. You feel me? Yeah. That's why he blessed, bro. Like, for real, God doesn't make mistakes. You feel me? True. That. So in that moment, it just was like, I, it just felt perfect. I'm like, damn, bro, it's time, bro. That's I felt right. complete. Like, these my boys. So I'm telling you that you that nigga all the time. Well, we got it. It just don't hit, don't the, hit same the same yeah. as a nigga that you have no idea mm-hmm. who he is. And you see he got the sauce. Mm-hmm. And he just re- confirmed that with you. I'm like, let's run. And then, like. Niggas started running, bro. Like, yeah. Who were some of them people who like who gave you that confirmation? I know, uh, like Haji was out in uh, in New York City with ASAP. I know you met uh, Cardi and them early. Yeah, we met them like two years ago. But um, that's from that's from Haji's work. Haji did a lot of like groundwork, mm-hmm. like a gorilla running around, beating on his chest. Like, cause at <laughs> first, like we don't have no outlets. Westside come 2016, really like. Like like that blooming flower. Prior mm-hmm. to that, we had no outlets. That's fair. All we had was Ray running around the city, running around everywhere. So his connections was able to like come full circle. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because nigga, at the end of the day, we got the sauce. It wasn't like we was looking for it. We was just trying to let these niggas know we had it. You know what I'm saying? I watch rock, and nobody will say this, so I don't care. I I beat space goes if niggas don't want to accept the truth. The truth is the truth. I watch Haji save the nigga ASAP Rocky career. Like, in, not in a way where musically, but just artistically, bro. Mm-hmm. Sometimes niggas hit dry spots and they don't know what to do. You know what I'm yeah, saying? We uplift each other. Like, yeah. You've been saying, and, like, and, and on some tribe shit, he gave, he gave a nigga uh, a, him the a, 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 new, a, new, a new day. He gave him a new day. You feel me? Showed him how to live inside of this new world of psychedelics or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. So, like, but them, they all on the outside. When it comes to our direct shit, my confidence and my confirmation come from his mom and come from true. And they come from the word of God. Nothing is stronger than the spirit of God telling you, like, when you make it, it's going to be like seeing the face of God to these niggas. <laughs> Can't nothing be louder than that in your head, bro. You got, And then if you doubt that, what, if I, what am I doing if I doubt that? What did I learn all that for to doubt that voice? I, you feel me? For real, I'm going to end up like what, the, what people want me to be, a crackhead, if I doubt that voice. So I let that voice make me look like a crackhead because I know where I'm going as opposed to not listening to that voice and really becoming what people say. Word. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, bro, he, God had Isaiah ass naked in Egypt. <laughs> Isaiah was preaching ass naked in Egypt. You know, he was ass naked, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ezekiel was dumb. He couldn't speak a word until God gave him, like, it's just, no, nah, he didn't play him, bro. It's not about playing him. Like, he's getting the call. You know Isaiah. Isaiah don't know shit about you. You see what I'm saying? You know Isaiah, though. And he don't know shit about you. See what I'm saying? The nigga, that's glory. That's glory. I don't know. I can't. I can't give you all the details of what the, what that story was specifically, but I know that we won't. We, won't, we might not remember future. We might not remember fucking Lil Wayne, but you know Isaiah. You know Isaiah. So that and that's all, that's all I can say about that. Listening to the voice of God, you'll be here for eternity. You'll be here for the beginning, the end, and the next life that comes after. So you what just got to listen to that voice. What you remind me of a quote that uh, Nipsey had. He was like, "Would you rather be at peace with yourself 
and I roll with the world, yeah. or I peace with the world, and I um, roll with, with yourself. yourself. Real talk. Mm-hmm. Real talk. Oh, that's, that's pretty much what you just said right there. That's real talk, man. Because even even missing all of this is like that's war. With my that's war. It's like nigga, where you at, Quan? What the fuck is you doing? You you dropping the ball, but I trust in God, man. I know that I I got the right people, so eventually <laughs> they'll see what I was doing. Like, okay, all right, you just making sure you good. Fact. Yeah, 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 man. Because I, I remember I remember when you was it was the waiting room when West started coming back to Buffalo and he started like he wasn't doing features with nobody. Bro, hopped it on was, my shit. That was he hopped wild, on. Bro. I was like. <laughs> but look though, look though, and I'm I'm gonna continue. I took over the city with third because people always act like it's some magic. This is the magic. Niggas want to know about wizardry. This is the magic. Ninety day fast took the town. I did a forty day fast of just water, and the nigga dropped on my verse. It was a forty, and then the, the Cardi shit was a three day fruit fast. I swear to God, nigga, fast, but don't do it with ill intention, bro. Yeah. You have to really do it. You know the biggest thing that broke my heart in that forty day fast, bro, is the fact that I'm not Solomon, bro. Like, I'm not talking about him, but I'm talking about my heart, bro. Mm-hmm. In that moment, I'm reading this shit. I'm reading this shit, and the nigga say this, bro. The nigga, yo, the nigga did some player-ass decision-making with these two babies. They was lying about who the parent who the parent was. He said, man, give me the babies. I'm going to split them both for half of y'all. Then the lady like, no, 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 no that's not my baby. Because she didn't want the baby to die. <laughs> so God like, bro, ill. So the, nigga like, so the nigga told Solomon this. He said, yo, you that ill, bro. Anything you want, I will give it to you. What do you want, Solomon? This nigga said this. I want wisdom and discernment. I can't find a nigga on earth that would say that. Word. Like y'all niggas really think about that. Like is that, when you deal with the word of God and you deal with the truth, you have to really come to the bottom of your spirit and really be rooted. And don't just try to think a uh, 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 air thought. Because if anybody off air would be like, yeah, I would have said no. You would have asked for millions. You would have asked for double mm-hmm. anointing. You would have asked for some powerful shit. Mm-hmm. This nigga said, can I get wisdom and, and discernment so that I can rule over your people justly? That nigga looked at him and like, man. He said, because you said that, bro, you're going to be the richest nigga to ever live. Nobody will ever have more women than you. Nobody will ever have more wealth than you. To the, to the earth is gone. Like That's why people think Mansa Musa, he cool. Fucking Bill Gates cool. Nobody will ever be as rich as Solomon. And Solomon, <laughs> wrote, Musa, bro, and cool. Solomon wrote the key to all of this shit. The, the Freemasons, they study in his basement. They mathematics and they alchemy come from his basement. That's the wisdom that he was given. You feel me? He has 700 wives. You feel me? And all they did was write about him. He's the richest, man. <laughs> richest man to ever live. The wisest, the richest, and had the most, and had the most bitches. And what he say? This is how he described himself. He said, "I'm calm." He said, "I'm dark." Way more bitches than David. <laughs> David, had like six, <laughs> David. David is his father. I thought David was the handsome no, da- David. no, no. David is his father. David was the first. So it's really about being a player. It's about being a player, bro. Because honestly, David's sick. David, you know how even Solomon get here? Solomon get here because David went and fucked somebody's wife and killed the nigga who wife it was. He killed the nigga, put him on the front line on some sick shit, like, go to war. So I kill you, I take your bitch. And that's how it was. He was on some sick shit. So you feel me? God repaid him for that. I'm trying to tell you, we all make mistakes. Don't judge nobody, though. That's when shit get bad for you. So the nigga, long story short, Solomon is born. And then he got that, uh, he got that blessing from God, but I want y'all to know who we are. That's why I'm going to tell you how he described himself. He said, I'm black, but calm me. Calmly, O ye daughters of Jerusalem. He said, my neck is filled with chains of jewels. My mouth with rows of gold. And I have locks. This is, this is Solomon 1 and 6. I want y'all to know, if you Google right now, you will not find one man ever of any other nationality with a gold grill in his mouth, but a black, <laughs> but a black man. This shit is not that deep. You will never find it anywhere. Anywhere. That's fine. That's to, to this day. That's Certain fact. shit they be missing, they don't copy. You feel me? Or they just don't have the spirit to copy. Man, like, that's yeah. why the nigga Rick Ross said, nigga, that's why we put on these jewels. This is our soul. That's what we do. We've been yeah. doing this forever. Represent nigga, you know how shine. the angel said when the nigga gave us the, bro, this gold and this shit is not supposed to just be in the earth. The nigga, the angel like this in Genesis, he said, he said you gave him the sardine stone? You gave these niggas barrel stone? Like, damn, you just poured this shit on the earth for these niggas? It's just stones, like these, like our precious stones, like you feel me? Yeah, Gems. it's like diamonds. You know, diamonds ain't worth shit. The white man made them shits popping in the thirties, but like before that, it was like barrel, ivory, rubies, uh, emeralds. Emeralds. You feel me? Yeah. Just those stones, bro. These are things that are like are like gated and like admired in heaven, bro. And it's hard to make them, and he just gave it to us freely, bro. So it's like. We got to always be thankful, bro. That's why rap is cool, bro. I be wanting niggas to know the truth, bro, because that's what's going to take your shit to the next level. That's like, right. For real, real I, I ain't met too many people that, that was able to do like a 40-day water fast. Like, that's... I ate food after 7 p.m. I mean, as the sun went down. I'm not going to lie. Every time okay. the sun went down, I ate. Like no cap. Uh, 
I ate a dinner every time the sun went down, but that's the only time I ate is when the sun went down. I ate a dinner and then I was back on water. Shit, I still take discipline that it's fast. Hell yeah. But I'm them, them fast, bro. Yeah, niggas, like yeah. real tough. You eat all day long. You watching me, bro. Yeah, bro. And then yeah. after a while you realize too, that's not even the biggest thing that's pulling at your body is hunger. It's yeah. hunger, bro. Cause it like resets your whole nervous system. Yeah, I, I get my first The liquor smell fast. good, the weed smell good, but that McDonald's, nigga. When we drove by McDonald's, I'm like, oh shit! Oh, that commercial come Food on. Is the shit. <laughs> that commercial, that McDonald's commercial. Ooh, like, hey. I stopped eating wings, but I still be looking at wings. Like, Damn, that shit smells good. Some wings. <laughs> niggas <laughs> love wings in the town. I'm like, hey, <laughs> hell right now, right? Yeah, we got. We got he said niggas, niggas love wings in the town. <laughs> <laughs> niggas love wings. Niggas eat them the all food. day long. All city niggas been to definitely all your. Yeah. Dust from Neither. I don't fuck with wings, bro. You know Neither. I don't fuck with Lenovas. Well, wings I don't really like. I don't really care for none of like the super <laughs> known spots. I feel like it's more so just the shit that be on the strip bro, type shit. Like, yeah, real talk. Word. Get them fire ass wings from Destiny. Like, really yeah. yeah, that's why so many people stay here. Like they they don't want to leave. The food is amazing. Nah, real Ooh. talk, bro. You cannot get a good mm-hmm. slice Open of pizza in Atlanta, bro. You'll be out there, nigga, wasting all type of money and time trying to find a good slice of pizza in Atlanta. Word. It's not happening. How, how long was he? I know you was in Atlanta for a bit. How long was you there? I was there for two years, and I moved back. Then I moved back again for a year. So I did like three years out there altogether. Where? What was that experience like? It was cool. I realized some niggas are some Indians, and you got a motherfucking beat. If you want to know the ooh, <laughs> noise, you ain't about to just slide through. <laughs> niggas are Indians. Everybody else, them Boston, Massachusetts niggas, they be waiting for six years to be a part of that shit. Atlanta nigga, hey, Atlanta nigga, they slow motion, man. But you're gonna die. You're gonna die trying to fuck them over. But a Buffalo nigga, a Buffalo nigga, we just bring more. I don't know. I really, I've searched it, bro. The LA niggas is, they, they fruit. No offense, you know they got hoods out there, but I'm talking about just the, in the art scene. You know what I'm saying? The town nigga is the illest, bro. I can't explain. I don't even want to go to explaining them niggas, but it's like, bro, they love us like pa everywhere we go. Like, not pa, but like pa. Like, we like, we got father energy. Mm-hmm. In the town, like our energy is real, like fatherhood. You know what I'm saying? Like and I, it's because we, I think it's because we've been in the mud the longest and the weather the yeah. baddest. So always in the city. Y'all be complaining. Uh, we be like, nigga, that's our energy outside. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That's so they that's right. Every we'll talk. Every that's a fact. Mm-hmm. You feel me? That's a big play in the, in the move to the nigga swag. That's where I was able, to, like, for I had a free time to even start writing. Mm-hmm. I was writing these raps in uh, the nigga swag crib. That's Feel me, Bobby Smurda, right hand man, bro. The nigga mm-hmm. FaceTiming us like, yo, hey, shoot my video. Like, for <laughs> real, this nigga, I hate this nigga, bro. He, <laughs> we could have been, I hate this nigga, bro. But it, yeah, Ray hate him. Every time I see Haji, he like, what this nigga doing? Ah, he cooling. But everybody got their own, uh, you know what I'm saying, time. Everybody on path and time. Yeah, Timing I, is going to be key. I trust him, my bro. I know he going to wake up when it's time and just go crazy. He going to go crazy on that. That's what's up. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, man, because I know yeah. I know you, get, you got it. No, nah, we just got about it, letting, bro. Letting the world show, yeah. We got it, bro. That's a super fact. Got some strong motherfuckers. I can't be weak around this shit. I'm in the middle of an altar. Y'all think every time I fall this way, it's just nothing but strength around me. Like, how you gonna fall off? <laughs> no, can't. That's facts. For real. And we started off like forty deep. Now we down on like. Yeah. Yeah. I remember y'all used to roll deep for everywhere. Real, some of my yeah, best yeah. friends is going. They're not even dead, for real. And that shit hurts. That shit yeah. For real, bro. God, how you, how do you normally deal with it? How you how you cope with with the losses Man. and moving through? Wait, Try to keep moving forward, bro, because my life is bad, bro. So I keep moving forward. I don't like to sit on one moment or one thought. People do me really bad, bro. Really, really shady, I feel mm-hmm. like. So what I do is I dwell on nothing. The shits fly off me like that. And I always try to think about tomorrow because that's where my victories is at, bro. I swear. If I ever say or really think about, nigga, what losses and what, bro, I will fucking. Bro, that's such yeah, a waste yeah, of time. You, I'm not mentally, I can't mentally though. even do it no more. Mentally, mm-hmm. I can't even go there. When did you get to that point, though? I got Whereas to that point. Just, that shit just didn't affect you. No. It stopped affecting me when I realized that, like, yo, nothing can kill you but yourself, bro. Mm. Like, I don't mean to go that deep, but nigga, that's how I deal with the smallest shit, with the deepest thoughts. Like, and I started to use my imagination. I, when I started to, bro, start to fuck with yourself, bro. Like, really fuck all of this, bro. We didn't, y'all niggas don't understand. We just copied every sound they did in the last hundred years. Something new is about to happen, regardless if people want to go with it or not. Fact. You gotta understand, we got power, bro. It don't gotta look like no fucking movie, but we got power, bro. Like, if somebody next to you and they fucking bothering you, bro, sit there and think about this shit, bro. You will see exactly what it is. It's not them. It might be some ugly ass saber tooth tiger. Grab this shit by the throat, choke the life out of it. Watch this nigga slap you up in two minutes. 
And when you start to see that shit naturally happening, yeah. you start to realize that you run this shit. That you're not just a part of this shit, but you run this shit. For example, but it's teamwork. Like, if I'm gonna let bro talk, but like, you got the bullshit on. Michael Jordan, bro, that nigga crazy, but he didn't win no championships till he started passing the ball. So it's like, nigga, I gotta get this shit to everybody. You feel me? Because, nigga, yeah. I could ball like this all day long in my room, but if I can't go, in, if y'all, everybody not he balling did have like to this. to get people to pass the ball to. Bro, for, <laughs> ain't happy with a pass the ball to really at first, but I get what you trust. Yeah, real talk. One question. I want to ask real shit. What make the most money in the world? Drugs, uh, prostitution, uh, stocks. What? What? What well, do you think? Drugs, prostitution, stocks. What makes the most money in the world? What generates the most money? Drugs. Just in general, or for a specific group general, of people? Drugs. Just in general, in the world. The black man, nigga. <laughs> Whichever we choose. Whichever we choose. The black right, man, bro. Never, never the black heard. man make the most money. We the most. Lo- me and you. That's it. Cause yeah, look, generation. if you stop, if you stop popping perk, if I stop popping perk. I'm not even on no perk. We not. On, I'm just saying, we stop popping perk. We stop smoking weed. They, they, nigga, they not gonna smoke weed. If we stop wearing bait, they're gonna. They don't know, bro. They just, they looking for what the. Just they're like what we do, do next. Whatever we do, we, we start in. wearing lugs. Nigga, Tim's not in. They gonna start wearing lugs. That's a super. And then, then they gonna jack up the price. Yeah, <laughs> and that's what generates money. Black people, cause we buy, we sell, cause we not taking it with us. We don't give a fuck about it. They don't give a fuck about no gold chains. We gonna buy a gold chain though. And you I feel never me? Ask that question off here, does it? That's <laughs> why. <laughs> That's real talk, bro. Cause I was thinking about it at first. I was gonna say drugs, but then it's like, nigga, what if we stop doing drugs? They won't make no money. It's all about what we do. You feel me? Yeah, bro. The black man, bro. That's why Nike one's so lit. Anything we do, everything we touch turn to gold. Real talk. That's that's a hundred. Nah, that's a super fact. What what was some of your uh, when you was in Atlanta? Where you with? Like, was that was that when you like met Cardi and all that? Yeah, I love that little boy. Man. That's like my that's like a uh, my little brother my little big brother because he taught me patience, bro. That nigga really taught me patience in the most gentle way. Most conversations have nothing to do with talking. You feel me? The talk is brainless, bro. We just really breathing right now. But the nigga was able to teach me patience, bro. He said, "Yo, just do this shit and just wait, bro. You be trying to see the result. You be, nigga, I will check my plants every day. I'm gonna check the shit, water it, like mad as hell. That shit ain't move. Don't even look at that shit." Go get fire other plants. You're going to come back. This shit going to be crazy, bro. Mm. So that's what I learned about patience, if I could say anything from that. And then the work ethic is like, if I'm going to get high, go do something with that. Don't get high and go to sleep. Don't smoke to sleep. Don't pop perks to lay down. You pop perks to make music. You pop perks to do things to creatively. If you can't do nothing creatively, don't don't just self-indulge, bro. Don't yeah, self-indulge because, house. yeah, that's some Seattle shit, bro. That's some, you feel me? That's some Seattle shit. You don't need to be sitting in the house just doing shit. And taking all this shit without giving nothing out. If you take something and it's fucking altering your mind, you better fucking get it on paper because you're seeing something in a way right. you're not normally seeing it. So take advantage of that. Oh, you, you said some be, Seattle shit? Yeah, that's it rains every day in Seattle. So I I would I that's the worst place. Like they literally just made them their uh what what heroin legal. That's how bad it is, bro. You could just do drugs there. It's oh, bad. so I get what you're saying. It's just like it's one of those places where nigga, it's just raining all the time. Kirk Cobain from there, bro, like Really understand yeah, yeah. Seattle is, is a sad place. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So regardless, yeah. when you indulge in that type of stuff, you're not going outside and doing anything. Yeah, it's hard to. You know what I'm saying? Especially in Seattle. So I'm saying, if we in Buffalo, make sure that you like my bro right here. I wish a nigga would call this nigga anything but a genius because if he was to take a fucking, I don't know, somebody slipping with Mickey, he not about to sit down and be like, oh, I'm off of Mickey. He's gonna draw the Mickey for you. You feel me? And, yeah, and yeah. everybody gonna be looking at the yeah, Mickey that they Mickey tried to give him. Like, nigga, this is what y'all tried better. to give me. But now we all looking at it. Mm-hmm. That's what you're supposed to do. Get it out your head so we all can feel what you're feeling. That way we can grow. Sure. Don't stop, won't stop. Rockefeller sure. records because we, we get down. We get down. <laughs> all of that. We're, you know we what I'm saying? We even call ourselves hypocrites. We used to be the niggas smoking 10 L's in a day, not doing nothing. Yeah. That's why, and they, they hard on me. My friends, they hard on me because it's like I got information, but they love demonstration. The yeah, world loves demonstration. Really shit, if you can't demonstrate something, it's like my bro favorite line. What we doing? Ah, so I, that's a fact. nigga, so it's like, nigga, I, I'm a miracle worker. You feel me? I feel like I'm trying to work a miracle. So it's like, my shit take time. I'm gonna cool out. I'm gonna cool out. I'm gonna get out the way. You feel me? So that I can be in the way properly when it's my time, as opposed to just being like, oh, nigga, let me be around. It's lit. That's mm-hmm. my friend. 
I'm about to get all of this shit. No, nigga, that ain't got nothing yeah. to do with you. A lot of a lot nigga. of artists fall victim to that. Yeah, bro. And the next thing you know, you didn't do nothing. You were just fucking a part of the vibe for four mm -hmm. years. And no, what did you create? They feel, like, they feel entitled just because they was around. Yeah, they supposed bro. to get something from their yeah, blessings. Yeah, bro. Nah, real talk. All the time. Yeah. I got motherfucking friends, bro. Bro, bro it, yeah, it's bro. It's all a ruthless, bro. He right. got it. He got it down packed, bro, because... You know what I'm saying? My, some of my closest friends, excluding A, that broke my heart. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about, bro, it's all about being in your moment, man. You feel yeah, me? Because like if you're not in your moment, you're going to be in somebody else's. So be in right. your moment and then, like, add to their moment. Because if you're just going to be completely in their moment, nigga, shit, hold their hand, nigga. Like, I don't know how to do that shit, bro, without being a, a, a true assistance to somebody. Mm -hmm. I can't just be in a modern motherfucking moment and not be assistance to the yeah, motherfucker, bro. Ass. Gotta be an asset. You gotta add value to any room you go to, bro. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, real yeah, talk. Man. Real talk, yeah, bro. Yeah, can't, can't. My dad always taught me. He was said, like, always leave a place better than you left it. Always, bro. Whether and if you can't do it, that, nigga, stay in the smile, house. Yeah, give him a smile, give him a good vibe, like, good advice, all that. That's real talk. No, that's facts. At all, nigga. <laughs> and nigga, it'd be like this, yo. This one for my mind. For your mind. <laughs> yo, <trying to> smoke. <laughs> so you see the vape gummy want to get higher right now. <laughs> Word. So what? What you been? What you been cooking up? What you been cooking up lately? Everything been themed, bro. Everything been themed since fifteen, bro. Ever since I fucking realized the truth, I've been trying to put deep themes out so y'all get it. Miracle Boys Forever, uh, the Hosanna Project. The 33 project. I was gonna drop 25 greatest hits. Then I'm like, nigga, what, what's the most relevant number to the word of God? And that's 33. That's the year of completion when uh, Yahweh Shai passed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Long, well, he never passed because he would as we covered by him. But it's like, that's when I started numerology, everything started to come into full play. Yeah. Then I look, you know what I'm saying? It's just mad shit, bro. Like Venus, for example, was the toughest time of my life, bro. And I and I did that shit that's off bad. of fucking some random some random girl just was saving my fucking life without knowing she was by being mean to me. But it was the honesty I needed. Everybody was just being fake nice. I'm like, yo, what's going on? She said, you fucking chips. You fucking chips. <laughs> you fucking chips. You fucking chips, boy. Ah, ah. And I'm like, damn, baby. I love you, baby. And then after that, I, nigga. I, Where is she from? She from the town. You uh, feel me? She from the town town. So, yeah, she knew what time it was, but nobody would dare say no shit like that to me. So when she went like that, I'm like, damn. I fuck with you. And she just kept giving me that dirt. And that dirt was like what I needed. I didn't have no dirt. You need dirt some time to grow too. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm so saying? Chips, chips is like, oh, man, shit. It's bad for you. If somebody <laughs> call you that, it's yeah, bad for you. Thugger said in this song too. So it's, it's, it's resonating, but it's bad for you in every shape or form. Y'all niggas know what bad is. When they going out ugly, you chips. So that's what she was calling mm -hmm. me. And I'm like, damn, I'm damn near sleeping in my car, but it's a foreign. What you talking about? <laughs> ah, ah. So then I got my shit together. She helped me get my shit together. And you feel me? And God blessed her too for that. She went from driving, you know what I'm saying, a doodle car. Now she got 2016 icy, some icy Come shit. On. Everybody get blessed in the process. But it's like, we like, where we at right now? Ah, ah, ah. She said, shit. Feel like we on Venus. I said, damn, when she said that, I seen the colors. I'm like, that's where you just took me. Thank you. Because I was about to die, bitch. I was about to die, bitch. I'm not talking about physically, but nigga, my 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 drive was gone, man. Mm -hmm, and you yeah. gave me back so much love. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna make this art surrounded by what we what we building. My shit is always about that. So that was a very strong symbol called Venus. That's one of my favorite tapes. And then I go into the the I say alchemy or the math of it, and I'm looking mm -hmm. at my teachers, A Rashid. He talking about how I ran. Shout was out it? to A. Hey, yeah, shout out to A, 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 bro. You feel me? Fuck out of here. And I didn't even meet him yet. Some of my favorite people I have not I'm met yet. I'm trying not, to, I, I seen him at the Buffalo Kids. When you know what I'm uh, saying? But I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna boy Trav all the time. Shout yeah, that's Trav. my boy. Shout out Trav, dude. He's supposed to be here with me. He's gonna punch me in the face when I see him. But long story <laughs> short, like that's when I was able to, to put the pieces together because the magic that we create is natural off desire. It's not because we write in some spell book. That's for them to try to follow behind. When yeah. we create spells, it's real natural they because read. you want to survive. You're not going. So that's what the vibe was. And then I'm reading his shit. He talking about how I ran, used Venus. Like literally, they used like because Venus is a it's a whole situation with that, bro. You feel me? But they used that to to, to defeat the Russians that was trying to take over them at one point in time. They used that shit in warfare, and it was just crazy because the correlation in my life that was war, yeah, and I went to Venus too, and I realized like this shit is, bro. This shit is like, bro. 
the Kabbalah, bro, I can see the math all around us. It's not like some crazy number shit. It's beautiful, bro. Yeah, Once yeah. you can like relax in it and not be I, always tweaking about it, bro. It's not nothing to tweak about. It's something to be like, oh, that's cool. Let's keep moving. Like symbol. I'm saying, after that, I did this like other little small project. What did I call that shit? NBF, NBF Boys, Miracle Boys Forever. So that was when I got everybody right. together. And I got everybody together that I possibly could in the town. And I put them on that. And right after that, what did I go with? It gets blurry, bro, because I haven't dropped that much. But right after that, I dropped this shit called Rising Sun, and I only released, released it on YouTube. After Rising Sun, I dropped this King of the Damn shit. King of the Damn is like, okay, I'm fucked. This shit fucked. I'm in a bad state. It's no way out. I'm King of the Damn. Watch how I come through this shit. You feel me? Mm. Like, nigga, how can I say I fuck when, when DMX was smoking crack at 13? I'm trying to tell you, shit is bad, but it's always a worse story than yours. Mm -hmm. So just know, like... Shit, I'm king of the damn because we got to stand on this. We can't lose. If he couldn't lose to that, I'm not losing to this little small shit. So I'm KOTD. And then I and then I keep moving now. Where, I'm, where I've been right now, recently, is this lamb shit. It's all themes. But everything after this is no more themes. I might call my next shit blue blue, blue uh, carpets because I, I've put the themes there. Like, if niggas really want to learn something, they're going to learn it. I'm tired of teaching, bro. Mm -hmm. And motherfuckers not listening. That shit is driving. That could drive you crazy, too. Yeah. When you know the truth, bro. And nobody gives a Speaking fuck, bro. You know how fucking crazy that feel? Can't when you really search, bro, you spent so many, so much time trying to figure that out. Nobody give a fuck about it. And they can tell you you need to live in a in a in a present. I tell a nigga I live in a past, present, and future at the same damn time. Don't come to me with that. <laughs> but it took me a day. It took me a day to think of that response. For real, it take nigga say some shit to you. Or fuck your head up. Like, damn, I was going this way. Ah, uh, you just trying to turn me this way. Uh, but then it's like, stay in your truth, and then they keep manifesting. So now, I've been pushing this lamb shit. Mm. Seven eyes, seven horns. Niggas always say the goat. The goat, lamb is the new goat to me because it's like we got to come to some new, we need some new concepts, some new vibes. Mm. And the vibe is about the most high. Only what we do for Christ will last. If you niggas not talking about the lamb and the blood that covers us, what the fuck is y'all really talk about? You feel me? Mm. And that's to me, that's what I really believe because at the end of the day, none of this shit can save our soul. You feel me? And that's what I like. I, 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 I lay there, I lay there and I stay there and motherfucker be like, Oh, you can save your soul. Oh, it's not all about me. I didn't create the trees and the stars. There's principles on this earth that we can touch and agree on that, that we didn't create. If I touch a bark, a, a brown tree, we both can agree that it's brown and we both can agree that it feels rough. Now, those principles wasn't created by me and you. There is a creator, right? And then we are creators as well. We are a small version of him. You feel me? I made you in my image. Mm -hmm. And then you have creations. You feel me? So that's what we do. We create. We all artists. Even God, he's just a big ass artist. So I've been trying to get y'all niggas his sauce, bro. What he wrote for us. He said he said his son got seven horns and got seven eyes, nigga. And he the only one that can open the seven seals to, to free us from any bondage that we feel. Motherfuckers like, what are you talking about? I sit with a white bitch. She like a white lady. She like, what are you talking about? You you can't feel the bondage because it was not for you. You feel me? Not like I, and I love everybody to death, but niggas need to understand like. We are chosen. That word is really means something. You feel me? Mm. Like we can decide to throw it away. Yeah, that's cool. But nigga, you was chosen by birth. That's your that's birthright. Right. Okay, so man. I've been trying to get that to y'all. I put the ruby in my little picture. So anytime I do anything, I try to like really. I say I don't want for nothing. Every statement is to try to evoke our minds to like, yo, we got everything we need. You know what I'm saying? Oh well, yeah. Get but to now, it. but now, bro, like I just t told you, it might be called my next shit might be called mushroom snails. I swear to God, bro. Mushroom snails. I it's gonna be on the back of my shirt. I got a mushroom and snails. Oh God! It's gonna be mushroom called mushroom snails. It might be called <laughs> bullhorns or like anything regular, bro. Like the concepts is there. If you want to learn, you are gonna learn. You feel me? But right. I can't keep continue to teach. I'm gonna use it for myself and just yeah. just move forward with that shit. You feel Hell me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. This shit with the with the music and, and how you just being yourself and expressing that shit over on MP3 on Wax. They gonna learn something. They got to man because it's all there. You could. You could, if I read the if I read this shit by mistake, it's gonna stick with me. So if you listen to my music, you probably going to heaven, bro. I swear my shit is gonna take you to heaven, bro. I'm not taking you nowhere else. This path is not going nowhere else. It might look very dark, but that's because I'm showing y'all the valley of the shadow of death. I'm not showing y'all nothing but like the real valley. I'm showing y'all how scary it look, how dangerous it could be. You feel me? And how we protect it fully in it. You feel me? Untouched as long as you got your rod, your staff. The rod is the truth. You feel me? Your staff is the truth. Hell yeah. But if you don't know the truth, you could be confused. So just be mindful of that. And the music, bro, like, I give y'all a five, which I want a 50 second freestyle, because, like, I've been talking about all this other shit, but music is like, yeah, yeah, do that shit. Smoke it at high, fuck from the side. I put down my pride. They asked me to slide. I came with some cash, came with some finesse. I put the S on my brother's chest. 
Don't want to be Superman. Don't want to be Batman. I just need the bitches all on my map, all on my lap, man. Give me a lap dance. I got on the truce. I'm cooling with true. I've been giving niggas blows. I've been giving niggas clues. I've been out in the zoos with the lions, with the apes, the gorillas, and the coons, and the bitches, and the fiends. Get a nigga some food, dog food for the queen. If she like it, she can stay with my dick and the spleen. We gonna make it anyway, every day. Gotta pray, gotta keep my fucking ah, da, 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 da. Come you on. know what I'm saying? But that's not <laughs> even nothing crazy. I'm just saying, like, I really believe I'm the illest in this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? All jokes aside. Yeah, man, the world. Sure. Yeah, really the do, whatever bro. you do, if you put your all into that shit, you should That's why that I had to chop it up with you, bro, because, like, bro, I just be trying to, like, you feel me, get niggas, like, updates. Don't ever think this shit just waning, waning low because we not trying to post every day. It's like, sometimes you don't got to show everybody everything every day. That's right. You know what I'm saying? It was a point in time I was doing that shit, and it might have been because, shit, I'm trying to compete with something that trying to help work with me. You see what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, bro, you really can't look at everything, zone your, zone your shit out. And don't fight it, man. Don't fight nothing. If your life going somewhere, don't fight that shit, bro. Yeah. Don't fight it unless it's some extra wicked dark path, bro. But I to trust in this shit, bro. One, I have to trust in this shit. I one of my uh, AA favorite sayings like, that, I, that I picked up from him was, you always say that uh, the universe is conspiring in your favor. So it's like everything going to work for you as long as, you know what I'm saying, you know it. 100%, bro. That's a super fact. Where, where can everybody find your uh, your music and what you got and keep in touch with you, keep up to date? They can go on SoundCloud and they can find me under Hosanna, H-O-S-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. That's where all my music is at currently. I don't really have nothing on streaming platforms, but I'm about to change that. This year, I talked to some um, older head guy. He told me, like, stop playing. So every song that I release from this point forward is going to be on streaming platforms so that people can engage and I can start building my numbers up. Okay. To, uh, you feel me? To show... To back up these words, you know. Word. Yeah, because man, and, and shit. I'm glad we had you because I, I know I know what it is. And I've I've seen it. I've seen glimpses of the future, uh, uh, your future, and how our you future impact shit. So our future. Our future. That's that shit fact. is for us, bro. I'm be scared as hell if y'all ain't with me. I'm like, where do these niggas go? We gonna make this shit. I need to see all y'all face at least once every now and then, bro. Yeah, we gonna make that shit happen. Appreciate you pulling up, bro. Nah, I appreciate y'all listening to my fucking loud ass mouth. You know what I'm <laughs> I mean, saying? You drop a lot of gems. That's a fact. Everybody going, everybody definitely gonna learn something from this shit. Nah, word, I appreciate that shit, bro. For real, for real. Like, y'all niggas don't know it's the Sabbath, bro. So we just communing, communing like we always did. Thankful for y'all, man. He got the Tim's on. He got the Pumas on. He got the Nike zone. He stepping. He stepping. Heavy. You feel me? He said I was ready for Judas. I was ready for changes. Straight from the cloth. No, I said that. Oh, <laughs> this shit could get yeah. no, I said that. I said we was ready for Judas. We was ready for changes. Cut from the cloth, this shit could get ruthless. I'm never gonna lose this. These silly gooses. Ah, yeah. go all day. I'm working hard every moment, every second. You keep your two cents. She gonna bust loose anyway as soon as the moon hit. Yeah, she gone, man. No lay with a pot, we out. Peace. Man. Appreciate oh, you, bro. Right.